Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to talk to you about how to connect your website to Google and how to upload your sitemap. Huge, huge, huge important steps when it comes to your search engine optimization with your website. And luckily Squarespace makes it really easy. So even though it sounds intimidating, it's really not that bad. First thing you're gonna do is go into the back end of your Squarespace website and you are going to go to the settings area. So let's wait for my website to come back. There we go. So we're gonna to go to settings and then we are going to go to connected accounts. So here on the left-hand side, we'll just click connected accounts. We will then click to connect an account. And as you can see, I already have this G here. I'm already connected, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and hit connect account. We have all of these different options here, um, but the G actually stands for Google. Um, it says search console, but really what we're doing is we're kind of I like to consider it as basically like properly introducing yourself to Google. So you'll want to have a Gmail account. Um, it really doesn't matter if it's a professional one or a personal one. What you're basically doing is kind of claiming ownership and introducing yourself, like I said, properly to Google. So if you need to make a Gmail account, that's totally fine. Just make sure that you have that password um, saved somewhere so you can access your, uh, your Google account later on. But basically, you would just go ahead. I'm going to put in a different email address for myself so that we can see. Um, so you would just go ahead and say that you want to connect. You put in the email address, hit next. You would then put in your password, next, and it will connect for you. It's going to give you a little uh, message here saying that Squarespace would basically like to um, get access to Google, basically connecting it to our analytics within Squarespace. So we just say allow and then you will be officially connected on your website end. So that's a great first step. But to go even further, what we're going to do is open up a new browser tab and we are going to just type in search console. It will find Google Search Console for you. So here we have my top result is the Google Search Console tools. Um, the actual website address directly is search.google.com. But if you click on that, you will see right here in this section, start now, click that. Over here in the upper right hand corner, it will show you what um, a Google account you're logged in at. So if you're if you're like me and you have several different Google accounts, you want to make sure that you're logged in with the same one that you connected your website to just a few moments ago. So I am using the correct one. That's great. Over here on the if when you first initially start, you'll probably have up here in the upper left hand corner a little drop down area where you can search for the property that you want to use. So you're just going to find the property that is the website URL that you just connected Google to. So you would just click on that. It's going to open up all of these um, tools here on the left hand side. The one that we're primarily concerned with right now is the sitemap. So if you click sitemap here, it's going to ask you to add a new sitemap. So all you would have to do is type in sitemap and then .xml and hit submit. So what's amazing about Squarespace is if you look at your own website, so here's mine maher.expert if I go to the very end and add this URL slug slash sitemap.xml the same thing we just typed in this is actually my sitemap so all of this amazing code is basically like my uh, tree of my website so it's basically going through every single page all of that great um, yummy SEO juice is right there and Squarespace updates that for us so Google after we have submitted our sitemap we just Click the sitemaps here on the left-hand side, type in sitemap.xml after your website URL, hit submit. It's going to crawl your website and then periodically, about every week or so, it's going to send its bots to crawl through again and look for any changes. Squarespace is going to always be updating our sitemap for us. So if I add you know, new blog posts or I change verbiage on my website or um, kind of mix up those keywords, anything at all like that, it's going to re be reflected on my sitemap and Google's automatically gonna know about it the next time that they send their bots to crawl. So you don't necessarily need to come in here ever again unless you're having um, you know, any errors that you want to fix or you need to remove a URL, things like that. Um, you can learn all about those types of things by reading through the Google Search Console information or obviously you can um, schedule a session with one of us here in Nerdville and we'd be happy to help you out with that as well.